In the last video we added adaptive views. I showed you how you can switch between the two. Now I'm going to show you how you can edit uh, what's on the page so that you have those uh, different views for different screens. So if I'm in my mobile view here, what we might want to do is move this over a little bit so that it's not quite hugging the edge so much and maybe move this down here. And that's quite typical of an adaptive view. You would have fewer columns so that the columns aren't you know, too narrow. Okay, and then if I click on this, you can see we're jumping between the views there. So if I preview this and we shrink the page, see how it jumps to the different view? And that's really, really useful. Um, there's other things that you can do. Just say we don't want all of these images in there if we're looking at the adaptive view. I'll go back to Axia. So what can we do in that instance? I'm going to go to Outline so that you can see what's happening here. And we'll give these some names. So we'll call this Picture 1, uh, Picture 2, and we'll call this picture three, then it makes it easier to see which ones are which over here. So we're in the outline and you can see all the elements on our page. Now we're in the computer view here, the mobile view here. Let's delete some of these. Now you notice that as I'm deleting them, I'll leave the last image. They don't disappear, they just turn red. And that's because they're not actually deleted. What's happened, if I right click, you see how we've got an option of place in view? And for the one that isn't deleted, if I right click, uh, we should have delete from all views or unplace from view. Um, and so what it's doing is it is effectively taking it out of that particular view. Now if we preview and we shrink it, you see how those disappear? We're still having some issues with the widths of my, um, my text boxes, which is a bit odd, uh, but you can see the layout is changing and those images are disappearing. This is very, very handy if you are using a menu widget. And when we do the menu widgets later on, you'll see this because the more complicated widgets cannot be resized. Now many of them can be resized. So if I decide for instance I want that image to be wider for my mobile view, you see how it hasn't affected it in the computer view? So now if I preview and we shrink this, you can see that the image is actually wider there. And you can do that with the very simple widgets such as text and um, placeholders or um, images. You can't do it with dynamic panels, you can't do it with menus. What you have to do in those instances is you have to actually unplace it from a view and replace it just in that view with something designed specifically for that device. We'll show you more about that when we do the menu widgets later on. The last thing I want to show you is the effect all views. So currently, if I change something here, uh, just say I select that and um, actually I'll select one of them, it'll be easier, and change the colour to blue and we can see it, bright blue. Um, you can see it hasn't changed here, so even something as simple as changing the colour, it is very dependent on which view you're in. If I click on Affect All Views, however, and choose one of these, and change the colour, this is going to look utterly terrible, I'm going to change it to green, actually I'll choose a bright green one, no that's, that's, that's bad. Okay, there we go, so I've changed that to green with the Affect All Views selected. Now, you see how that's changed in both of the views. And now if we preview, you can see that that is green even in the computer screen view. And so that means that if you have many, many different views, you don't have to go into each and every single view to make a simple edit to something you want to change for all of the views. However, if you do want to change something just for one view, it's easy, you just make sure that's not selected. Last thing, if I go to my other page, 
you notice that the adaptive views aren't on. You have to add it to every single one of your pages. For some reason, Axia doesn't think you want to add it. I mean, I do understand you need to be able to choose which set of adaptive views to use in any instance, um, but it will not apply that by default. So make sure you go in there and you apply that. Thank you.